Hello guys, welcome to this Java tutorial for beginners. In our today's video, we will talk about enumerated types or simply enum in Java. So without wasting time, let's get started. Now let us understand enum with help of a broker. So in Java, you can restrict a variable to have only one of a few predefined values. In other words, one of the values from the enumerated list. So this is your enumerated list and each element is called as your enum right so the benefit of using enum is that you know you will reduce the bugs in your code now let us see how we can declare an enum so the keyword enum is used to declare an enum type and inside the body of my enum we have the comma separated enum constants so these are your enum constants and one thing you must note is that i have not added the semicolon after the values right now in order to set the value of my variable d which belongs to the enum days i need to write something like this so after my equal to sign i have this enum name then the dot operator and then the name of one of the constant right so now let me print this variable d and the output should be monday but before that let me change this to uppercase because all the alphabets are uppercase so it's monday now let me run the program. So let me compile the program and let me run it. So it's Java test. And here you can see the output is Monday. Now let us look at the sum of the selected methods of enum types. So the first method is your values method. And whenever you call this values method on an enum, so it will give us the array of your enum constants. So this array will contain the enum constants and if i print this array you know i'll get the list of all the constants so let me run this program now so let me compile the program and let us execute it so now let me run it and here you can see we have all the enum constants printed all right now let us look at the second important method of enum type that is your ordinal method so what this ordinal method does is you know it will return the ordinal value of the enum constant so what is your ordinal value so every enum constant will be assigned a numeric value and starting from zero so your leftmost element or the first element in your enum constant will be assigned the value of zero and so on right so if i print this you know the output should be zero one two three four five and six right since your sunday for your sunday constant the ordinal value is six so let me run this program now so let me compile and execute the program and let me run it and here you can see we have the outputs from 0 through 6. Next thing that you need to know is that you know whenever you're comparing your enums you know you need to specify the full enum name right. So I have this you know variable d and I'm comparing whether it belongs to Sunday or not. So I need to write near my enum name the dot operator and then the enum constant. If I just write this you know Sunday then I'll get the compilation error. So now if I run this program, the program should run properly and it should print it's Sunday, right? So let me run this program now. So let me compile the program and let us execute it. So let me run it. And here you can see the output is it's Sunday. Next thing that you need to know about enums is that, you know, your enums can be used in switch statement. But there is one thing that you need to be aware about. That is whenever you're writing your case constants, and if there is an enum, so there is no need to mention the enum name. So I did not write days dot and then the constant name. I just write the constant, right? So let me run this program and the output should be it's Sunday. So let me compile the program and let us execute it. So let me run it. And here you can see the output is it's Sunday, right? So that is it for the today's video. And don't forget to subscribe for more Java programming videos like this. And I will see you until next time.